Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by here at the Dally Society. My name's Kristen and today I've got some more beautiful tempting fabric all the way from France. I've just had delivered today. Now the awesome thing about being on the other side of the world is that because we're in opposite seasons, I managed to get uh, two collections from Mason Bloom Mood. I was very lucky last year to come across Mason Bloom Mood's beautiful collection and the gorgeous Melanie that runs Mason Bloom Mood has just celebrated her first year uh, with her beautiful fabric company and I have been watching and waiting for these new fabrics to arrive because we we're in a different hemisphere of course in different seasons. I have just watched her release the most amazing winter collection and of course they're heading into their spring summer. Now I thought why not take advantage and get her beautiful collections from not only from her winter 2023 but from her autumn range that I missed out on last year. Uh, of course last year when I got the beautiful fabrics in you remember this gorgeous Amy fabric uh, that was just so popular and it was one of my all-time favorite dresses from last year. This is the beautiful Amy Icavira Viscose. Just a stunning print and quality and the rest of her range of course is all sold out in store so I jumped at the chance in getting her autumn and winter collections in because I just knew you guys would just fall head over heels for these amazing designs. Now I've got so many tempting fabrics here to show you. I think you're going to love the colours and the most amazing prints. Um, but also the fact that they're sustainable, beautiful quality Ecovera fabrics. They're all viscose and they are just so perfect for blouse making, for heading into autumn, winter, for dresses, for skirts and for just about any season. Of course, this one from last year, the Ecovera viscose was beautiful for summer but I'm looking at these amazing wintry colors and thinking you guys are gonna love them. So the first collection was her kind of, uh, the Indian summer collection of course was the autumn range from last year that she brought out. This beautiful Hazelia viscose is just perfection. It is autumn perfection. Not only has it got this beautiful autumnal uh, watercolor effect to it, but it's got this most beautiful lilacs and purples. And I just love the way Melanie represents her fabrics with beautiful patterns and dresses made up so you can really see the scale and the vision there that she's um, she's come up with and this is absolutely stunning I'll show you guys up close it is the most beautiful dreamy watercolor print um, the colors of course the lilacs and purples are always so popular when they're in store but I've never seen it done like this with a beautiful uh, rust autumnal color and of course that's one of my favorite colors heading into autumn winter and the rust is very big this year so I'll show you guys up close and the drape is just amazing um, absolutely beautiful print there and I can just see a stunning maxi dress or a boho inspired dress um, so you can really see Oh, her collections are just incredible. She's got such a good imagination for putting together prints and color. So that's the Hazelia. The other one is a restock that was very popular that I had in before Christmas and it's sold out. And this is the Circe and it's an Indian inspired print, a real boho kind of look to it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's um, very feminine as well as being nice and earthy. Love the way she's displayed this and the patterns, of course, she has listed with her fabric. So if you're interested in seeing any of the patterns um, that she's made up, there are links to those patterns. Now, although I don't have those patterns in store, it's great to be able to access them through the link and you can go ahead and make basically the exact dress that she's got there. But absolutely beautiful Circe in that lovely rust color, a really pretty combination. Um, yeah, it's just so perfect for water. The next collection was called Le Fleur de Temps, which of course means the weather flowers, so the seasonal flowers. These are absolutely beautiful, and I think that they really truly represent to me autumn flowers. Um, I lo absolutely love this green one. Now, this green one is called Camellia. Now, she's called this green therapy on her website, and I've totally got to agree. When I saw the colors together, I just thought, wow, what a combination. I haven't really seen much around with the rust and that beautiful vivid green, that deep rich green together. It's a real true, um, I would say it's like a dusty emerald color, verging on a khaki tone to it, but just such a lovely combination. And I really love what she's made up with this fabric, that long maxi dress is just incredible. Um, so I just adore the way she represents the fabrics. Uh, with the patterns made up. So, that, so that's the camellia print in the stunning green. Um, so definitely don't forget all the fabrics that I talk about here are linked in the description box. 
uh, and you can quite easily go ahead and follow their links through to the Daly Society website. This one's called Peonia and it is all shades of blush. An absolutely stunning print, that one. Really kind of abstract floral. Um, I love all the earthy tones of the blush pink she's used there with a kind of a sagey mint colour leaf. Um, but that one is really, really pretty as well as when I saw this on the um, on the model in the in the dress made up. I just thought it is beautiful. I could really see a stunning blouse, maybe a puff sleeve blouse as well for autumn. One is the Peonia, but absolute bliss if you like a blush and those pink tones without being overly lolly pink, lovely earthy shades of pink. The next collection I have here is her winter collection. It's called Le Jardin de Hiver and of course the winter garden um, Look, it was released not long ago. It was a very late winter release for them. So it's perfect for us in heading into our cooler seasons. But these fabrics can be worn all year through. Of course, they're all the same weight viscose. There's nothing heavyweight here. Uh, and it really does depend on what you want to make with it, how you want to winterize it. I really enjoy the way seeing Melanie's made up. Uh, a lot of these fabrics, she's done things like quilted them and made them into vests for winter, layered over tights and skirts but she's also made a lot of them into dresses and blouses as well. So the first one we're going to talk about here is uh, an amazing print called Adele. It is uh, the most beautiful red magenta print floral. Uh, I've got to say, when I saw this range online, this is the one that attracted me first because of those amazing colours. This magenta, of course, is uh, being hailed as the colour of the season. It really has got a long way to go yet. We haven't um, seen the end of it, but I just love uh, this in a long sleeve, puffed kind of shirt around the wrists um, over maybe a pair of black tights. I think it would be absolutely stunning. But I could also really see it in a, uh, a long um, almost summery dress as well. So it's got so many different ways you can visualize that. Um, but that is the Adele, amazing print, beautiful color. The next one I fell in love with is, this one's called Zykel. And of course the character motif from Mason Blue Mood is this almost unique paisley um, print. And it is very similar to the Circe, the print, but you'll see the colors are being used in a totally different way. Uh, the color is a very deep, rich uh, ink navy background with this amazing magenta and almost chartreuse color paisley through it. But have a look up close. It is absolutely beautiful. I think she's really outdone herself there with um, the, the use of colors and the way everything just tones in so beautifully together. I think you can see how special and unique her fabrics are. When you see the collection together and the thought um, that she's put into it is just so beautiful. The last fabric in this uh, winter garden collection is called the Sybil. And to me, this speaks earthy, rich, almost animal print, but floral um, kind of embellishment. It's got the earthy tones of a leopard print but with a beautiful magenta color throughout there as well. And it is like an abstract print, floral print, but you can see what I mean about having that kind of reminiscent of an almost a, a leopardy print uh, in, inspiration there. But this Sybil um, has got really natural and warm appeal to it, beautiful print. Uh, can really see that being a great staple to have through the winter wardrobe or even all year through. But the colors in that, of course, are incredible. And I love the drape, the unique drape, so nice. This um, Amy print that I had back from summertime has just washed and worn beautifully. It has such a lovely feel. It's got a great body for a visco, so it's not a thin, flimsy floppy viscose it's got a really lovely lovely hand feel to it and you'll notice that a lot of people that have actually uh, emailed me to comment about just how beautiful the quality of the mason blue mood range is so um, yes melanie has outdone herself again and i'm really excited to see all of her future endeavors with her fabric and prints because i think she puts so much love and care and thought into her business and i really love supporting uh, especially a wonderful young lady like melanie who's um you've really put a lot of detail uh into all of her prints and beautiful fabrics so that is the latest in the Mason Bloom collection. Of course, a lot of these are limited and a lot of the uh, autumnal ones uh, that I've got from last year and restocked, that's all I can get now. So once they're gone, they won't be getting repeated. So we won't be able to stock any more of those. So if you're liking one of those, uh, I wouldn't wait too long because they will go fast. 
but really excited to see uh, you guys and your thoughts on these. I'd love you to let me know in the comments below what your favourite print was from the Mason Bloom collection there today. Of course, I would wear absolutely every one of these prints. I think I'm going to have a hard time choosing just one. So I'm really uh, seeing some blouse inspiration there because I think it's such a nice time of year to make blouses. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that little uh, fabric feature there. Don't forget we've got the box drop happening Sunday night, 12th of March. That's Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time at 7 p.m. So make sure if you're wanting some beautiful um, mystery fabric, they're a mystery box, the Empress theme. I think a lot of you are really excited to know what's in that box. It's a really exciting brand name fabric. I think you're all going to be thrilled with that. And also if you're wanting to add fabrics to the box when you purchase you can um, quite easily do that you can add it on there and I'm very happy to add that to your uh, to your parcel and parcel it all up together. Have a wonderful sewing week we'll catch up with you all very shortly bye for now.